What's up, good people? I'm back with another video today. What is the video? I'm making mac and cheese. This is not my official like mac and cheese recipe or the way that I like make it officially, like you know, when I'm doing like Thanksgiving and all that. But nevertheless, um, it's gonna be a mac and cheese uh, dish that I'm doing today. I have not been feeling great um, this past week, so this is just me trying to drag myself out of the bed and do something other than just laying around but you know sometimes when you're not feeling great that's really all your body wants to do is lay around and sleep as it tries to recoup but anyway um yeah i'm about to put this together and just kind of show y'all what i do have the ingredients here as you can see elbow pasta i have some italian cheese blend some sharp cheddar, sour cream, some ricotta, actually some half and half, and some um, Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese, black pepper, garlic powder, seasoned salt. So um, I didn't take out the butter, but that'll be in here as well. So stay tuned to see how I put this all together. Over here, I just have my um, water for my pasta. I already have it salted. And y'all are just going to look at the uh, the water while I talk for a second because I'm not going to be on camera on this video. But um, I know several different ways and methods to make mac and cheese. It all just depends on my mood um, or who or what I'm cooking for. I know how to make it like with the roux and the cheese sauce and all that. I also know how to make it without doing it that way. Um, it just depends. Um you know how i want to do it like i said today it's just me um you know grabbing random ingredients that i have um in my refrigerator and just kind of putting together a mac and cheese that's all this is this isn't anything like official or whatever just kind of me freestyling and doing what i feel like doing so yeah so i'm gonna wait for this water to come to a boil in the meantime i'm gonna go and um get my um cheeses cut up and shredded well the monterey jack because that's the only one that's not cut up and shredded so stay tuned people stay tuned so here is the monterey jack cheese yeah i just cubed it up i didn't feel like pulling out the shredder and all that because then that's just one more thing that i have to clean didn't feel like it so i just cubed it up and um yeah that's how that's gonna be so this will obviously be going inside and not on top um of the mac and cheese and also um i'm not making a lot at all because i don't like to waste food and because this um you know it's just kind of like me doing something you know i'm not necessarily cooking for anything or anybody um i'm just gonna make a really small amount and you know if it gets eaten it gets eaten um like i said it won't be a ton of it so if it doesn't get eaten like that um it won't be too big of a deal so yeah <laughs> All right, in that last clip y'all saw, I was draining the pasta. I didn't drain it all on that in that clip because it started burning my thumb. <laughs> Cuz I was trying to obviously record with record with one hand and do it with um the other hand and I didn't have any type of um mittens on. It was burning my thumb, so I'm like, "Nah, I got to put this crap down." But anyway, I buttered my cast iron skillet. Um I have my pasta draining in the sink. I'm about to take this remaining butter that I grease this pan with. I'm gonna bring this over here. Plop that right down in there like that. Okay. Cause I'm about to start doing like the cheese sauce. I'm not doing like an actual roux with flour and all that. I'm not doing that today cause I'm not in the mood for all that. So yeah, down goes this butter. Come over here. Grab this um, half and half Publix brand. Give it a little shake. All right, come on now. You know, I'm mean, trying to do everything with one hand. Get that down in there. I think I might put a little bit more butter, maybe like another uh, tablespoon or two. Yeah, 
hold the line, hold the line. All right, so yeah, I did add another tablespoon of butter. I added in some fresh cracked black pepper, a few sprinkles of garlic powder, and um, just a little bit of seasoned salt. So as you see, it's kind of bubbling up there. Yeah, I'm about to add the pasta back to it, and then I'm going to add the um, Monterey cheddar cheese, Monterey Jack cheese that I um, cubed up. I showed y'all that. Let me turn that down because I don't want it bubbling up too much. So hold the line, y'all. Hold the line. So I'm about to get this stirred up. That is just a couple tablespoons of the ricotta cheese, the ricotta cheese, and a couple tablespoons of the um, sour cream. And then I also put the Monterey Jack um, cheese in there. And I'm about to just give this all a nice stir. So... Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to, of course, record and um, stir at the same time. It's not always the easiest. But... I'm trying. And I definitely could use a bigger spoon. But it's all good. It smells pretty good. And of course, I'll taste just to see, you know. But you see, it's nice and creamy. And then I'm gonna layer this in the pan. So I'm going to um, put down coming off the eye too my bad i'm gonna put down like one layer of this mixture then i'm gonna put some shredded cheese and then i'm going to put more um of this mixture you know just layer it back and forth you know with cheeses shredded cheese is going throughout the middle that's what i'm saying yeah so yeah Cool. And like I said, I'm going to taste it and see if, you know, it needs any seasoning adjustments. And yeah, we'll go from there. I'm so sorry about the flickering of the light. All right. So <clears throat> I did add a little bit more uh, fresh cracked pepper. Now I'm about to just start going in like that. Just spread that out. See, it's nice and creamy. Nice and creamy. This is going in the oven. Um, so my Italian style boom. Get my hands in there. All right, just make sure it's evenly spread throughout. And in with a layer of Just like that. And put the remaining on top. I did taste it. It is good so far. Um, I must say, I feel like this would, I don't know, pair good with a nice steak. And then, you know, maybe just throw you a, throw you a nice little salad on the side. Sorry for all the click clack. You know. I gotta make it do what it do. So just spread it like that. All right, 
So I'm just gonna um, put one more layer of um, cheese on top and then show y'all how I, what I do before I put this in the oven. All right, here it is going into the oven. I put a few little pads of butter on top, you know, just to melt down with that cheese. I usually like to put a little bit of um, paprika on top as well, just to help with that color, but I don't have any, so it's all good. But anyway, this is going in the oven on 350 for like 25 to 30 minutes, I guess, you know, just until it's nice and cheesy and bubbly. fresh out of the oven baked it for 30 minutes 350 degrees and then I just let it sit on the little sit under the broiler for like three minutes so yeah that's that